Okay, good morning, everybody. Um, so we're going to start today with, um, with grouting. I'm going to demonstrate to you all what, like, you have grout in your art kits. I'm going to demonstrate what the grout needs to look like, okay? So I want to show you what your mosaic needs to look like. This is a mosaic that we just had left over from another camp. So it's difficult to see, but this board, yeah, like Jess's, is full of glass. The um, places in between the uh, pieces of glass are called joints, okay? That's what they call them. So you want to make sure that your joints aren't over an inch wide. So all of the space in between these um, pieces of glass, or if you were using tile, uh, you don't want it to be more than an inch. You want it to, you want to keep it between um, like an eighth of an inch and um, ideally like a quarter, a quarter of an inch or up to a half of an inch. So you have your grout and the reason, you can get grout in almost any color, okay? Almost any color. We're using black because we use a lot of white glass and also black looks really, really good. Um, it helps make your, uh, the color on your um, mosaics really pop. Um, so you're gonna take one cup and I just want to tell you that if you guys go and buy a bag of grout, you can buy pre-mixed grout, like that's totally fine. There's no shame in that. But if you, if you go buy a bag of grout, the way that they tell you to mix it together is not the way we're going to mix it together. Because the way they tell you to mix it together, yeah, that's it, Chandler. That's, that's what you need. Um, and then you need a couple of cups. You need one cup for water and you need one dry cup. Okay. Okay? So your grout and two cups. What, Bob? A couple of uh, Yes, you guys need to switch out. Um, yeah, so two cups and get disposable cups or cups that are already used for art supplies. Because once you use a cup for grout, there's no going back. So you can't, she wants us to use a cup with water and a cup, and a cup that isn't with water, but she says if we use it, there's no going back. Okay, so that means- Well, and Chandler, you're not ready to grout yet. So don't, you don't need to mix anything right now. Yeah, okay. well, well, yeah, why don't you yeah, I just want you to watch me, okay? Because you're gonna you're gonna wanna know how to do this and it's gonna be like grout is not rocket science, but it is one of those things where you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, am I doing this right? So I'm gonna pour, I know you guys have a plastic bag, but I'm gonna pour just a little bit of grout. So your piece is even smaller than this. So you don't need a lot of grout, okay? So I'm gonna pour, it's also real dusty. That's too much. Okay. Is it really tiny? So I have been grouting for years and years, and I either mix too much or I mix too little. It's just the way it works. Okay, so now, oh my gosh, I just had my popsicle stick. Kristen, I'm can I see how much grout you put in? You see that? Now yeah, I'm so maybe I need a, a quarter of a cup or half a cup. Yeah. Um, I wish I could tell you there was a good way to gauge how much grout you're going to need, but a lot of it depends on how, like, what the square footage is of your piece and also how much, um, how big your joints are, okay? So, um, I'm going to add a little water at a time, just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. And, of course, I can't find my popsicle stick, so I'm going to use the end of a paintbrush. Okay, so, if I were reading the instructions on the back of the grout bag, it would tell me that I needed to have my grout um, uh, a thick consistency, but I don't want to do it like that. I want to keep, for our purposes, we're going to keep it kind of running because we're actually for, okay, look now. Can you guys see that? It's sort of like, um, it's too watery. So I'm gonna add some more. Again, remember, it's not rocket science. 
but you do the the most important part is to get the right consistency so you want it it shouldn't be as thick as it should be about the consistency of brownie batter right when you get brownie from a, a brownie mix from a box that's about the consistency it should be okay and so I'm just gonna keep mixing until I get that consistency. Okay, that's about it right there. And what I do next is counterintuitive. You're gonna be like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? It's going to feel all kinds of wrong, but trust me when I tell you that this is how you grout. I wish that I wasn't a grouting expert, but I am. Okay, so now this is about the consistency, and you guys are going to see it pretty quickly because I'm about to dump it out of my glass. Okay. Make sure you put newspaper down because once you do this, or even do it outside. Once you do this, it's gonna be a gigantic mess. Once you start actually putting the grout on your mosaic, there's no going back. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna dump this stuff out, okay? This is not gonna be enough grout for my whole piece, but do you guys see that consistency right there? Then I'm gonna spread it all over. Okay, just like that. And I'm gonna do this to the whole piece. Okay, so I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna spread it all over and then I'm gonna let it sit for about 20 or 30 minutes, okay? And then we'll come back to this. So Jess, they can get started on the next thing. Okay. Um, but do you guys see what it looks like, right? It's a giant mess. While Jess, while Jess is showing you how to do the next thing. It's a giant mess. It's a giant mess. Um, while Jess is showing you how to do the next thing, I'm gonna be working on filling up this whole mosaic with grout. But again, like you guys don't need a lot of grout because what you're grouting is it doesn't isn't gonna take very long, okay? So just I'm giving it back over to you and then okay. when yeah just that's the right consistency right there yeah so I was thinking like you can draw lines in it yeah kind of like brownies and then they kind of start to fill in after a little bit exactly 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 so just make sure you use your gloves and spread it out and then I'm going to keep working on this while you guys move on to the next thing and um, then we'll come back to it, okay? Yeah, okay, so yeah, it's just your grout powder and a little bit of water. So start with less, and you can always add a little bit more if you need it. Or I guess you could add more grout powder if it's too watery. Okay, so pretty easy, and I'm just mixing it with the back end of a paintbrush too and this is like um a little painter's tub so it's not anything i i need to eat out of so just choose something that you don't need to drink or eat out of okay so we're also going to be um putting some mosaics on this pot um, so you can just do the rim if you'd like, or you can cover the whole pot, or you can just do the bottom and leave the rim open. It's whatever you'd like. Um, for this, since it's a curved shape, it's probably better to use smaller pieces because if I put like a big shape on here, it's going to stick out beyond the curve of my pot and it's not going to stay very well. So 
I'm going to need to use small pieces so it sits all the way flush on my pot. Okay. And you guys can cut pieces if you'd like. But this is, this is going to be pretty quick and easy, especially if you just do the rim. Okay. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Just finish doing that, that little pot. And then we can grout both of them. Um, so in order to put these on, like yesterday, you guys can use this set. Now I have some. Gonna need daddy. And I'm just using a paintbrush, or you can use your popsicle stick, whatever you prefer. Are you okay, Chandler? Yes, just I need to do two things at once, and I'm worried I'll forget about it, and then to the next, and then soon. Don't stress about it, okay? You'll be fine. Just work on one of them, and you can always do the other one right after. The grouting doesn't take long. It just um, has to sit for a little bit. But after it's done sitting, it's pretty much done. So don't stress. You're not that far behind. This is thick glue. Yeah, it's actually, um, what do they call it, silicon? Is it really sticky? Yes. It's actually, um, it's actually just latex caulking. Latex caulking. Yeah, you can buy the specialty glass glue, but it is just essentially what you buy from the hardware store. So I just get a caulk gun and some caulk, and I just squirt it out for you guys because otherwise it's very expensive. And you can just buy this, you can buy this stuff at Home Depot in the paint section. You just need to get the clear, the clear all-purpose silicone caulk. Yeah, so it'll dry clear, right? Yeah, exactly, right. So it's gonna go on white, but it's gonna dry clear. Just like other, just like normal hair So you guys can see, I'm just fitting pieces together where they kind of just fit in there um, so that the space between them isn't very big. And I'm just going to do the rim, but you are welcome to do your entire pot if you'd like. I really um, love terracotta. It's a beautiful color. And did you guys know that this is clay? Or like right here. This is clay that has been fired. Yeah, I know. Terracotta clay. That's awesome, huh? You can look at it and I know it's clay. Yeah. What? You're pretty smart. Thank you. 
Chandler, um, oh yeah, you did show us your hummingbird. And it turned out great, huh? Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you how it came out. How long does this, um, does it take for this latex acrylic to dry? You need 24 hours. 24 hours. Yeah. Okay, so we shouldn't grout this pot yeah. until tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. You, it, okay. It'll be ready to grout tomorrow, but for now, we just, uh, um, okay. just let it set up. Yeah, okay. Um, Kristen, when we're grouting something that's just like this top part and we don't want to grout this, do we have to be extra careful not to get grout yeah. on this area? And I would just tape it off because it grout off. Has, the grout that we're using, all grout has pigment in it. So it's basically like sand and, and a light mortar. Grout, okay. is, grout is purely ornamental. It is, it, it, it is not, it's not an adhesive. So it's not actually holding anything together. It just helps to make sure that nothing gets in behind the tile because if you get if like moisture gets in behind the tile, then eventually the tile just pops off, right? So okay. it, it's like a it's like an adhesive helper, but it's not the adhesive. What okay. you're like using actual mortar, mortar holds bricks together and that is an adhesive. So the the grout has pigment in it, just like paint has pigment in it. And so you need to take off because anything that the grout touches especially on a porous surface like or terracotta pot, it's going to instantly absorb that pigment. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Thanks. Okay, so yeah, tomorrow, if you're just doing the rim, you would just um get some like painter's tape and just tape off just right around the bottom edge and you could even keep, like cover this whole thing like maybe stick a bag around the bottom and then tape it off so it's completely covered and safe Just like fumbling around trying to find pieces that fit. And you can definitely um, use your glass cutter to cut pieces down, even if they're small. So you want to make sure they're big enough for your pliers to actually break it, break it apart. Lola, were you able to do um, the mosaic from yesterday on your plexiglass?
Lola, looks like you're muted. Yeah, I was able to do it. Awesome. Did it turn out good? It was okay. It was okay. I'm sure it was, I'm sure it's great. How are you guys doing on glass? You guys have enough for today? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, good. Was it just four of us today? Yeah, yesterday it was just Madeline, and today it's just the four of us. Yeah, I think that the... Uh, the cannons may have decided to go out of town. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure about that. So you can see, I want to use this piece here, but it's a little too long. I can cut that. So what I'll is next week's thing? Next week is animation. What? Yeah. What is animation? So animation is like, um, Making something look like it's moving. Like a balloon, of a balloon that goes up and up into the air. So, um, like animation is the all the movies you guys watch is done with animation, like all your cartoons. But all those cartoons are just basically pictures, and they're put together so quickly that it looks like it's moving. Like Avatar. Yeah, like Avatar. Or like any of your cartoon movies. Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, like Phineas and Ferb. I love that one. Um, so we're going to do like flip book animation. Have you guys ever made a flip book? No. And I'm we're going to try to make one, but it was hard. Yeah. We're going to learn some other, um, like, we're going to make some other old contraptions that they used way back in the very beginning of animation. Imagine um, a face with a sad face, and then the next page, a middle face, and then the last page, a happy face. There you go. And then we're also going to do stop motion animation with an app on our phone. So we take lots of pictures and we move the item like just a little bit each time and all the pictures put together make it look like that object is really moving. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited for it. So yeah, Chandler, you've done animation before and you didn't even know it. What? You've done animation before and you didn't even know it. Huh? When? Your flip book. What flip book? The one with the sad face <laughs> and medium face and happy face. I said I imagined that. 
Oh, um, you didn't actually do it? I, I'm i thinking that if, if I do it next week, I might do that. There you go. Yeah, totally There's a lot of ideas that I have. We're going to have to throw these gloves away. Yeah, yeah, after today, they're probably going to be done. We don't have these gloves. Uh, um, at my grandma's house, when me and Lola did the flute, had a recorder practice with their grandma. Uh -huh. We went out in the pond and fed them some fish food, and then me and Lola decided and made like a water balloon out of these. And oh, that's some, cool. We dropped some bait on them. You guys should use um, gloves when grouting. I just um, don't have any of the kind that you guys have. I have like nice gloves and I don't want to use those. What will happen when that dries? This will just dry hard and um, you won't see the color. It'll fill, it'll fill in all those gaps and spaces between your glass pieces. Yeah. And we'll I'm wipe it off. You the guys top. Mine. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to show you guys mine. Okay. Give me just a second. So you don't see any of that color? You will. You will after we wipe it off. I'm just rubbing it in so that it goes into all those spaces. And then once it's in those spaces, I'm going to let it sit and then I'm going to wipe it all off. And that's probably what Kristen's going to show you is um, cleaning off all the surfaces. And then we're going to grout this one too, right? Yeah. So tomorrow? Um, so tomorrow is Saturday. Yeah, so, but by yourself. But yeah, by yourself, you will grout it tomorrow. That's right. I wonder who's going to be there next week. Um, I know that um, Nick is probably taking it, and the Cannon Boys are probably taking it, and Madeline, I believe, is taking it. I think there's six kids right now taking it. Is Lola taking it? I don't know. Lola, do you know if you're signed up for animation? I have no idea. But next week is our last week. It's so sad. But we've had a lot of fun this summer. We've done photography and ceramics. But and it's one with clay, so then you can make shapes of clay and then paint the clay. Yep, we did that. We did clay, and then we had another class where we learned all different ways to paint it. Did you make the clay? Yeah. We made our own pots. How uh, come you didn't tell me We may have been out of town for that one. That's okay. There'll be other chances. We'll have to class again. Taylor, you can also buy the kit and then um and then okay. use the videos. It's a little less expensive to do it that way. And then if you get stuck with something, Chandler, you can just let us know. Well, that's true. Okay. That's readily available. I think we're probably gonna do some more classes also, starting in August. We just don't know what um, that's going to look like yet. So if there's something that you yeah. want to do, let us know. Yeah, we're going to ask everyone what what they'd like us to do for classes in like September and, and stuff. So. 
cool. So I can buy the one with clay and stuff, and then, well, you can and then I can watch, watch the, video. the video. Yeah, all of that is on our website. Okay, I'll look. Oh. Yeah? If you have any questions, just let me know. They made their own pots. What's well, some around here is that we just try to make it work for everybody. They made their own pot. <laughs> No, you don't. That's great. Really? I never seen you do it. I'm too busy with you people. You could do it. I did before I was married and had kids. Uh huh. And I don't know what you mean because I never seen you do it. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate really quickly what you do next. Okay. So don't feel like don't feel like you have to stop what you're doing because you know you can just come back and watch the video later, okay? So I'm using you want something that's not gonna scratch your glass. So I'm actually just using a popsicle stick that little Eric just finished eating because in quarantine I let my kids eat popsicles at all times of the day. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scrape the excess, okay? And I'm just gonna go like that, right? There's nothing about this that isn't terribly, terribly messy. And I typically don't mind getting messy, but as I have stated and will continue to state for the rest of my life, routing is not my jam. But you wouldn't be able to tell it by the number of mosaics I do. It's I know once I get it done, I'm going to love it. It's just that, you know, it's like working out or eating your vegetables. You know the end result is going to outweigh the discomfort. And I'm just so you're, like, you're getting the edge of a popsicle stick to scrape away the excess? Yeah, you see how I'm doing that? If, yeah. we, were doing, um, if we were doing a lot, like a large like a bathroom tile, there's like a, a tool that you can buy from the hardware store. It's like a trowel. A trowel is metal, but it's, um, it's got like a foam. It's like covered in foam. And it's made for expressly this purpose. But that tool is really big. And for what we're doing, doesn't really make a lot of sense. So what's going to happen is, I'm 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 scraping off the scraping off the excess grout from the from the tile and then it's gonna dry again. And what you call this is a haze. You can kind of see right here on this white on this piece, this white piece. It's called a haze. I'm gonna let that dry in about 30 minutes. I'm gonna wipe it down. I'm I have a fan on it right now because I'm trying to get it to dry a little faster. If you guys do this outside, this all happens at breakneck speed because the hotter it is, the faster your grout dries. We're about to start on a big project at Lidaho Elementary and we're going to have to... What elementary? Lida Lida Ho Elementary, the one that's um right on the corner of 12th Street in Hampton. We're gonna do a mosaic on um one of their walls outside. You work at a school? No, I don't work at a school, but we but the but Color Me Empowered does work with schools. Does that make sense? I used to work, I used to teach elementary art, but that was a while ago. So I'm just going to kind of keep scraping like this um, because the more I can get off makes the next step easier. But yeah, I'm just going to set this up and let the fan go on it. Now what do I do since I'm done with this? Well, Chandler, you know, you're going to need a little bit more glass. Remember how I talked about the space in between tiles needs to be about like a quarter of an inch? Um, 
like maximum it should be half an inch. So think about like uh, the way I gauge it is like the width of my pinky. So if something, if the space in between the pieces of glass or the tiles is wider than my pinky, you probably need to add more glass. You need to in those spaces. And right. the grout that we're using, this is also just FYI, the grout that we're using is sanded grout. And it has the ability to have uh, have bigger joints as opposed to unsanded grout. If you use unsanded grout, like you have to have really, really tiny joints. But sanded grout um, holds a little bit more area. I'm actually gonna go set this outside for a minute because I'm tired of watching it dry. Awesome. Do you have any, oh yeah, you, I saw you using painter's tape the other day, um, right? Lola, you have some painter's tape? Uh, yeah. So you can just um, tape, up the, tape off the area that you don't want the grout to touch because it will stain it black. And I just, I'll have to, well, I'll have to stain it tomorrow, right? Oh, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll have to grab it tomorrow. You're right. <sighs> oh, I made more and I don't think it's enough. Maybe. Jess, you can also just drop a little, like a drop of water right there. And, and thin your grout out a little bit. I think I dug up some out of the corner that was just an <laughs> Oh my God, it's the story of my life. I never get the right amount of grout. Like you think yep. after all these years, I would know how to get the right amount of grout. <laughs> Somebody out there who knows how to get exactly the right amount of grout. Yeah. Please let me know how you do it. I think the other issue is, is that when you're doing stained glass mosaics with broken glass, it's very difficult to know, um, it's very difficult to know how, how much grout you're actually going to need because the, the joints are so uh, different and varied. So, you know, that's, that's at least what I'm telling myself. Yeah, there you go. I don't know if it's true, but that's what I'm telling myself. Okay, so again, I just want to express for those who are going to be watching this later that I'm doing this with my bare hands, but you should not. Um, just because if you go over your piece, the edge of a piece of glass could, could cut you. We don't want that. So, um, Kristen, I also grouted around the edge, like on the other side of my last piece of tile. Is that, is that going to work? Yeah, that's I... fine. Okay. I have a question I'm about the other things we made, like the plate. Oh yeah, so I'm firing those right now. They're, they're, I can only do two at a time because I don't really have a glass kiln. I have a ceramic kiln that I use for glass and I put everything at the, at the top of the kiln. So in order to get it to fire right, I only do two at a time. So I have your flat piece. I'm doing all the flat pieces first. Your flat piece is finished, Lola. Chandler, I'm doing your flat piece next. Um, and then, uh, then we'll do your bowls, okay? So. I'll try to deliver stuff as I, as I have it all done. Does that answer your question? Chandler, what's your question? What? I have a question. Go ahead. So if I wanted 
still a a class that you haven't done and, and it's about clay my dad has an oven but not a kiln oh so here's how we do it is when you're done i just come to your house and pick up <laughs> or your parents drop it off and then i fire it at the studio and then i get it back and then you glaze it and we do it all over again does that make sense uh, yeah so we use our <laughs> Most people don't have a kiln at their house. I have a kiln at my house, but I am the exception to the rule. Kilns take a whole lot of electricity, and you've got to have an electrician installed. Um, so, yeah, you know, we do everything at the studio, Chandler, okay? Okay. I have another question. Okay. Yes. It is. Um, so, so after we grout and then we take the stuff off, what do we do after that? Grout so, it again? Um, no, so you're going to scrape the top to get all the excess off. And then after it dries a little bit longer, um, then you're going to take like a wet washcloth or something or a wet paper towel. Yeah, and if um, we don't do it wet yet, Jess. Hold oh, on, you don't. Okay. Let me go get my let me go get my piece from out of out, outside, and I'll show you guys. Kristen will tell you. She's the expert at this. Um, and Chandler, I also wanted to show you since you kind of were like copying um what I was doing since there was like no sound. Um, so like yes, like the other day we cut squares out of um, out of our glass so I'm just gonna cut a square just so you can see what I was doing to make um, more pieces to fit around okay do you guys I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I got here okay time Okay, you see how it's kind of gray right here? This is what we want. This is how it should how it should start to look. I could have actually left this in the sun a little bit longer, okay? But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to make this work. It's probably really best to do this outside. This is about to get so messy, okay? Let me show you how to do it. So I'm just taking a paper towel. And I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna kind of wipe like this, okay? This is my, this is my first run through, okay? I'm kind of, kind of doing a wipe, and then I'm gonna do, then I'm gonna use water. I'm, you can use a sponge. I mean, they make sponges for expressly this purpose. Okay, so the next the next one I'm gonna do is gonna be wet. You don't want it too wet though, okay? If you have a piece of glass come out like this, you can just glue it back down afterward. Okay, so I'm just, it's almost like washing, okay? And since your thing is so small, it's going to feel like you're messing it up all over again. But since your thing is so small, you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't need a whole lot. What this is doing is it's just evening out the grout, okay? If there's places that you've missed, this is a good, this is your opportunity to kind of fill it in. Okay. 
like my, I kind of didn't get this exactly right over here. And this is your chocolate in. Okay, so you're gonna get a whole nother haze. This time a little more transparent. Actually, I think it's hot enough outside. I'm gonna go put this outside again. And I'm gonna give it, if you guys can give me about five minutes, okay? I'm gonna show you the last step, okay? I think we can get it all in today, okay? So I'm gonna put it outside, let it dry a little bit more, and then I'm gonna show you the last, the last step, okay? Give me just a minute. Okay, while well, she's doing that, Chandler, I wanted to show you that I was taking these little square pieces and then I was cutting them into triangles. So it was kind of going from like one corner to the other corner. And then making triangles out of them. And I could, I actually um, broke them down even more to make these smaller triangles. So from like, so from like this flat edge to the point, and then I would break them in half again. So out of one square, I'd get four triangles. So you can, you can do that out of your squares, keep breaking them down. Or out of a square, um, I also did, I just broke down this square into smaller squares. and just filled in the areas. That needed some like a square piece. So we break them down into smaller squares and you could even go probably one smaller than that. And those are great for like filling in all those little spaces. And if you have like pointy areas where you need a triangle. That's how you get small triangles. So this is how mine looks so far. I'm just like placing pieces where they fit, even tiny little pieces. These tiny little pieces might disappear a little bit once they grout it, but I think it'll be okay. Before I go out and get that um, mosaic, so that step right there where you, where you wipe, wipe it down and then you use um, a wet cloth or a damp paper towel, that's actually one of the most important steps. So if you don't do that, then your um, grout adheres to the glass and you can't, you can't get it off after like a after it completely dries. Yeah, after it's completely dry. So um, you need to make sure that you that you do that step, and then then the, the last step you can wait a little while to do it. But that that what is it? I don't know what number it is. Number, but the step that we just did is the most important one to making sure that your um, your glass stays really pretty. Okay, so to go over the steps again, you're going to mix your grout and put it all over, smear it all over in all the little joints. Right. And you're going to let it sit for like 20 minutes or so, depending on if you're doing it outside or not. 
and then you're going to use the edge of a popsicle stick or something to scrape off all the extra grout mm -hmm. that you, um, you don't need and then let it sit for a little bit longer right yeah let it sit for a little bit longer then you're going to get a dry paper towel and lightly wipe off any more extra then a damp paper towel and that's where like if you have little holes in your grout you can kind of like manipulate the grout a little bit but you're what you're really trying to do is get the grout off of the glass and it'll be like they'll be what they call a haze they'll be sort of like residue of grout on it but you let it dry and then this next step gets all the um gets all the grout off. So I'm gonna go outside really quick and get my piece and then I'm gonna show you guys. Yeah, and I think you might have to wipe it down with the wet cloth a few times before that all that haze is gone. So you like go over it a few times. Write this down. Okay, so this is what my piece looks like. You guys see that? Now I'm going to pull my computer camera down so you can see what I'm doing. So I just use paper towels to do this. And it is gonna make a big mess, so it's totally fine to do it outside. Do you see what's happening right here? Is that a wet towel or dry? This is dry. So I call this polishing the glass. And you need to, you actually need to let this um, dry a little bit longer than I have. But I want to demonstrate to you guys what it, what it looks like. So now I'm able to polish, really polish each piece of glass. And make it super duper pretty. Then later, after the grout has had um, a day or two, to cure, what you can do is actually spray it down with Windex. So yeah, you want to make sure that all the grout is off of the face of the tiles. The yeah. little glass Because otherwise it'll dry and never come off. Exactly. But this part, like if you get glue on top of your glass, sometimes you, you have to like Work a little extra hard to scrape all that off. But this is where you can see where you start to reveal again your beautiful glass that you glued down. Yeah, I wrote it down. You wrote it down, Lola? <laughs> Lola's gonna have her own um, grouting business. She's gonna be like Lola's tile and grout. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Four dollars. <laughs> four dollars. Go. I think you're gonna definitely want to charge more than four dollars. Yeah, you could charge like at least twenty, depending on what it is. At least 20. Grouting is hard work. And it's messy. Would you grout for four dollars? The grout, you can get a 25 pound bag of grout for 13 dollars and then you need to make sure that you charge for your labor local. Yeah, you gotta calculate the cost of the materials yep. and your labor and you. your expertise too. You have to get your profit. Yep, you have to make a profit. What? Or profit? you're just wasting your money. Profit. Means. Profit is what you make over what you've spent to do the job. Yep. Like if you don't make a profit, then you just break even, and then you're not really making any money. Yeah. 
And in order to continue to do business, you got to make money. That's how. That's how it works in a. Well, you can just be rich. <laughs> what? And just not work hard at all. I hear you. Okay, well, most so folks who are rich have worked very hard. Get that there. like the kids of the. Oh, that's true. Oh yeah. Rich people don't work anything, so they'll just get tons of money to do anything. <laughs> so rich parents make their kids work for them. Yeah, that's it. It's important to have good work ethic. So you're going to be able, once you're like polishing this for a while, you're going to be able to see where there's still like residue left and you just got to get in there, get some elbow, elbow grease. Okay, so this is it. What do you guys think? Nice. Wow, so pretty. Yeah. That looks awesome. <laughs> and do you go back over with the wet cloth? or anything not not until it's had a couple of days to dry so what what i do is i go and i polish each piece of glass really quickly then in a couple of days i'll go after it with some windex to make it really really shiny but you okay. want to give the grout enough time to really set up and cure so you just leave it alone once you've gotten all the residue off of your glass then you can just leave it for a couple of days. And then if you really just go after it and make it um, shine like a diamond, then, uh, then grab some Windex or like whatever window cleaner you have and, um, and polish it up that way. But yeah, this is, this is basically routing from beginning to end. Well, can you just get a paintbrush and put it in the route and then go through the lines? No. No? Can't. Yeah. It would take a lot longer to do that, I think. Yeah, and in order to really fill in all the joints, you just got to smear it all over the entire surface. Yeah. Like, I know, I know it's counterintuitive, but it really is the way you do it, and it's the fastest way to do it. So what this does is it fills in everything to where like it's a flat surface now. It's not the glass and then the surface underneath. The grout is level with the surface. So that way, if you put this outside, water's not going to get into it. Um, and it just makes the surface look nice and even. There are some artists who don't, they don't use use grout with their mosaics but they also they also fill right. in every single joint like it's all right next to each other yeah, it's so all just, yeah this is just one technique you can use and most mosaic artists do do use grout. well like this this mosaic here in your curriculum is like all right next to each other yeah whereas this one you can see the grout lines exactly like this it's like they they cut the pieces to fit perfectly next to each other. Yeah, and that's just a little more tedious. And you know, you can do it like that, but you don't have to do it like that. We just want you to know that there's lots of different techniques to use, right? Yeah. The thing about art is there's no wrong answer. Yeah. Can and these, the these are great, great gifts, guys. So yeah. start thinking of Christmas. <laughs> I'm already like, if you're an artist and you make your gifts, July is the perfect time to start making gifts for people. That's true. Um, you don't have time towards the end. And but, you can mosaic yeah. anything. You can anything. mosaic anything. Anything. Yeah. Like, whatever you put glue on, you can mosaic. So, you know, we can mosaic, but we don't have any big pieces of glass. Is there anything else we can use? So Hobby Lobby does sell glass if you if you want to buy your own. Yeah, and we have glass yeah. with the space too, Lola. Yeah. Okay. We always have glass. Always. And sometimes I find buckets of glass in my house that I forgot about. <laughs> but you can also use ceramic tiles. Or yeah. you can like broken broken stuff. 
Like you can use a uh, broken plate. You can even, if you break the pieces small enough, you can use broken bottles. Yeah, and uh, some people use like vintage um, china or like teacups and saucers and they'll break those up and make a mosaic with them. I've seen people mosaic with pebbles. I've seen yeah. people mosaic with like bottle caps. You can mosaic any, anything. <laughs> You can glue it down. You can mosaic it. You can probably mosaic pennies or things like that. Yeah, we have a. We sometimes use buttons. We do button mosaics. I love mosaics yeah. for my grandma. Yeah, my grandma awesome. has seen the buttons. She would love that. Yeah. You yeah, can do I'm gonna do mosaics. one just like this because she likes planting. Okay. There you go. Perfect. It's a great, great idea. Yeah. Well, guys, we've gone over time. Man, mosaic and stained glass, it just eats up all your time before you know it, the day's over. You know, it's so much fun, though. <laughs> Do you all have any questions for me or Jess before we sign off? I got my list. Lola's got her list. Don't forget to have your parents send us pictures of your finished mosaics, okay? Yeah. Definitely we want to see like what you've done that makes us real happy okay. okay if you guys have any questions just tell your parents to text them i'll be around all weekend i mean i guess we're all around all weekend don't be going anywhere <laughs> yeah and maybe we'll see you next we'll week see you, okay? bye everybody okay bye girls <laughs>